Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is how to find the self weight of any structural member. So in this lecture, we are going to solve some example to know that how we calculate the self weight of any structural member, either it may be slab, column, footing, or beams. So the self weight of any structural member can be calculated easily by this formula. Self weight is equal to the density multiplying with the volume of the structural members. So in short we can write it gamma into volume. So if you know the density that which material is used in your structural member and the volume of your structural member then multiplying these two you can get the self weight of your structural member. For example I will explain this self weight with the help of example. For example Let's suppose this is the slab. This is the slab. And we want to find the self weight of the slab. Let's suppose the the one the one dimension of the slab is 8 meter. Similarly, the other one is also 8 meter. And the height of this slab is considered as 0.15 meter or we can say it's 15 centimeter so how to know the self weight of this slab and this slab is being supported by the columns you can see and we want to know that how much the self weight of this slab acting on the columns so to find the self weight of this slab what should we do self weight we can do it by multiplying the gamma the density of the material and the volume so the slab is a reinforced concrete slab it is the RC, RCC slab, reinforced cement concrete slab. And we know that the density of the reinforced cement concrete is 2400, 2400 kilogram per cubic meter. So this is the density of the reinforced concrete. So by multiplying the density with the volume, we will get our sulfate for this slab. So 2400 is the density. And the volume of this slab is multiplying the multiplying the 8 meter with the 8 meter with the height so this is our volume of this slab so 8 into 8 into 0.15 because volume is actually the multiplication of area in the height so this is the area and this is the height so multiplying all the three dimensions we will get the volume so by multiplying all these quantities we will we get the value of 23 comma zero four zero kilogram this is the sulfate of this slab acting on these four columns so I'll, I'll, we can say 23 ton 23 ton is the sulfate of this slab of this reinforced cement concrete and it should be taken by these four columns respectively you can see here it is being supported by four columns so in this way you can find the sulfate of any structure member I will also now calculate the self weight for the beam and column. Now let's consider this is any column, reinforced cement concrete column, the square column, and the dimension of this column, the height of this column is is a 10 meter, and the two, two cross section dimension is 0.6 meter and 0.6 meter. These are the geometry of this column. The cross section is 0 0.6 and 0 0.6. It's a square column. 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 meter. And the height of the column is 10 meter. So we want to find the self weight of this column. That how much weight of this column is. So we know that it, it is the multiplication of density and volume. Similarly in this case is the reinforced cement concrete column. RCC column. So I know the density is. The gamma is 2400 kilogram per cubic meter. So 24 into the volume. The volume is multiplying the all three dimensions. The length, width and height which is 0 0.60, 0 0.60 and 10 meter. So by multiplying all this value we get 8640 kilogram. Is the sulfate of this column which means 8.64 ton. 
electrons of sulfate of this column has. Now we want to find the sulfate of the beam. Let us consider a simply supported beam. You can see here a simply supported beam. And the length of this beam is 20 meter. And the cross section of this beam. Cross section of this beam is the square beam is a 0.2 meter and 0.2 meter is the width and height of this beam. So we want to find the sulfate for this beam. The sulfate can be easily found out by multiplying the density and volume. As we know that this is also RCC beam. So the density will be 2400 kilogram per cubic meter. And multiplying with the volume which is 20 meter is the length. The width is 0.2 meter. Multiplying it with the height of the beam which is also 0.2 meter. So by multiplying all these quantities we will get the sulfate which comes out to be 1920 kilogram means 1.920 ton. So this is the way how to calculate the sulfate for this beam. Hope you guys understand that how to find the sulfate for any structure member. First you should know the two quantities. You should know the density of material for which your structure member is composed of and the volume of structure member. By multiplying these two you will get the sulfate of any structure member. Subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.